And right. this is happening up and down the whole East Coast, actually. And uh, we've just got hit heavier than we usually do. Usually we'll see maybe one or two a season. Uh, this time with eight animals in two days, or nine now with the one in Sandy Hook. Uh, that is a high number for us. Uh, unlike uh, Texas, which got hit with 300 plus in one day, the state of Texas. So they're really... Uh, going crazy, uh, finding places to take these animals and, and rehab them. Because a lot of them are still alive, they're, they just look like they're dead. So they have to be slowly warmed and brought in and temperature brought up at a very slow rate. And then they start responding, they get them feeding and they can take them into uh, warmer water and release them. Green sea turtles are coming in. Uh, and that's because they're not typically offshore animals feeding like the loggerhead, which is a deeper uh, uh, sea dwelling animal. The greens and Kemp's Ridleys are often in the back bays of New Jersey and su throughout the summer feeding on uh, grasses and vegetation like that. That They're staying there longer because they have plenty of food to eat, but they don't uh, know that there's going to be a cold spell. or you know, They don't sense that, and they're stuck in here. And it happens so quickly that they um, lose their mobility to move out. And, and uh, if they don't go out with the tide, they stay in there till they, they actually freeze to death. We actually started on Wednesday with a call from Long Beach Island of two turtles that were on the beach there. We responded uh, to cold stunned turtles and that, uh, that's what's happened uh, when the temperature drops below uh, freezing and the turtle become incapacitated. They're reptiles and if the temperature drops below their body temperature, then they can't move anymore, they can't swim. Uh, they appeared to be dead, but in fact they were still alive. So we were able to pick them up and, and uh, they're recovering now. The other uh, incident was yesterday with six turtles in the same area, Long Beach Island. Uh, Barnica Bay is a very large expanse of uh, back bay waters and the turtles spend the whole summer there feeding. Uh, when the cold's done hit, the cold episode, they are not aware of that until it's too late and they can't get out and head south. The turtles should be down off of uh, Virginia or uh, North Carolina by now, and any trapped in the waters here uh, are probably doomed to not survive unless they're picked up. So that's why it's important for people to call us as, as soon as they see it so we can respond immediately and, and bring the animal back and start treating it. And we send them up north to uh, West Orange, New Jersey. There's a rehab facility that just does the cold stun turtles. That's all they do. And, uh, that way I don't have to worry about because we're getting right into seal season now and we don't need warm water, we need the cool water for the seals when they come in so we don't take the turtles in. Right now uh, the seals that we would be responding to are seals that may uh, have been a, uh, a, a dwarf type uh, situation when they were born or malnourished throughout the summer where they didn't get enough food. So they're really in a weaker state than the, the healthy ones. but. Um, then we start seeing animals that are entangled in fishing gear. They'll start coming in. Uh, but right now, the seals that we've had uh, up and down the coast in south, south, southern Jersey uh, are healthy harbor seals, fat harbor seals. And that's the kind we'd like to see. We don't have to pick them up. They're doing fine on their own. Uh, actually, they had an Arctic seal down in Delaware a month ago, which is highly unusual. Usually, they don't come in until February or March. And, uh, we don't know what's going on with that, but with the warming trend, we may see polar bears here one day, who knows. Um, that we could, if we had to, heat the building up and, and go with that. But we prefer, because of our intensity with the seals when they come in, it takes a lot longer. And some sea turtles, uh, when they go into long-term rehab, may be in rehab for two years. So it's way too long for us to hold on to it. And there's places down in Florida and South Carolina that that's all they do is turtles. We'll send that to them. We ask for photos to make sure what they see is correct because we've had people call in and see turtles when in fact they're seeing diamondback terrapins, uh, which could be dredged up from fishermen or clamors, whatnot. Uh, but we verify what kind of animal it is, then we um, will respond immediately and pick it up and bring it back or take it somewhere else if it's going to require long-term um, rehab. Because if, it, if it's long-term, again, with turtles uh, uh, running into seal season, we, we can't have both. We can't have a heated building for the turtles and cool you know, 35 plus degrees for the seals. Right now, this is an unusual time for us to have this many turtles in two or three day period. Very unusual. Uh, usually a cold stun episodes will be two turtles in a season. 
and now we're up to nine turtles in three days. So hopefully uh, that ends soon, but I have a feeling this will carry through the whole uh, weekend. We'll still be getting calls throughout the weekend on this.